And when you set out to coach, do you want to create critical thinkers or do you want to create people that are, are good at responding to a control directive? Can pastors decide on their own to realign their receiving position without your uh, having called that? Do you give serving signals? If you do, why and can a server wave you off? Do you allow players to interrupt you during timeouts? There's a critical a line between uh, encouraging critical thinking and controlling players' responses. I think that's one of the early decisions you have to make as a coach. And when I wrote down swing blocking, it just didn't carry a lot of excitement and enthusiasm to me. So I kept looking at ways to talk about it, and I thought, well, how about swing blocking in the First Amendment? That will probably draw some people who are just wondering what the hell that means. So let's take a look at the, uh, the newly formed First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or any blocking system or the right of the people peaceably to assemble at the AVCA convention and to petition the government for redress of grievances should swing blocking be put forward as the only option for defending 4-2 rotations. I think there's a misunderstanding of what positive coaching is. It does not mean the absence of intense emotion. It does not mean a coach is soft and non-demanding. Uh, it is not the absence of specific and dramatic confrontations between player and coach. And it is not the absence of the iron will of the coach. In fact, it's okay to get mad at your players and penalize them for a poor performance. Positive coaching encourages the coach to tell the truth to players and to teach them how to listen and deal with the consequences. My appeal to you, as you think about the coach you want to become, think a lot. 